guys, how you doing? Let's do this thing. Oh, sorry, hey guys, how you doing? Let's do this thing. <laughs> Alright. Come on, come on. This castle come inside. I have a break on uh, D4 that I can actually play. I can fork. I 
Vave tries here. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, let's see. Do I if I play a fork? He can't really do anything there.
snap. That was a blunder. Shoot. Let me see how can I recover from that. Let's see here. Uh, Oh, wait a second. Oh, that was dumb. That was horrible. Let me... I have to go back. Okay. I needed to make a loft. Oh, shoot. I was so close to winning this, too. Okay. So if I... Let's see, where is it? Uh, okay. Do one more. Uh, Drat. this now. Here. There, 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 there.
Okay, what kind of day on that? It's perfect. Okay. Let's get on to our London. Alrighty. Oops, I have to go all the way back up there. Sorry about that, guys. There we go. Alright, let's go to the very beginning. This is uh, uh, this is a game. White is J. Anderson versus S. Christensen. Or Christensen, yeah. It's a. Uh, so I wanted to uh, uh, let you guys know about that. That this is the Queens. Uh, this is the London versus the Queens Indian. But it says the Indian Indian, but it's actually the Queens Indian. It's kind of there's different lines that you can go into it through, and this is one. Then you remember always always play G6 G3, and because um, H3 uh, wasn't played. Remember last time H3, because H3 wasn't played, we were able to play Bishop to G3. Otherwise, if H3 would have been played, we would have had to take, and then takes, and this would have actually helped Black out. So. That's that's the cool thing. Uh, so bishop takes. That's one line. There's also castle kingside for black. D bishop d two uh, three. Which if you notice, we're building an attack on the kingside. D d f, uh, f, a six. I mean knight knight c six. Sorry. Uh, c three bishop takes g three. H takes g three. Now we got an attack hammering home here. So h6 is played. Queen to c2 with the potential of castle and queenside and then we can go for a huge onslaught. Uh, rook f e8 e4 this is to break in the center get some spatial center advantage. Hold on let me make sure I have all this uh, placed rightly. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, I had like a particle in my glasses. It was bugging me. Alright, so let's see. So, it does, actually castles doesn't work out very well if you, if you notice that it gives white the one tempo that white needs. So d8, uh, knight d8. <clears throat> We're starting to pile up on the e5 pawn, so d6 is forced. Now we reroute our knight to go to f. Uh, we're going to try to go to f5 and bring some attack down. So he goes c6, which this is an interesting move. You notice it's trying to break up the the center white's, um, you know. Const boa constriction in the center. Well, remember when uh, on when they played uh, c5 or yeah c5 in the last one, then they traded. Now that he did that, Black didn't play c5. They're able to actually trade off. So h, we're trying now. We don't really want to have that traded. We want to have. We want when they play c takes d. We're going to drop our knight right on in, attacking the queen, the pawn, and we're going to come and take there too. So queen comes to f8 to hold on to the position. This queen's now trying to hold. We would love to actually have a knight there, but, be, but the queen f8 is okay. And then we take back, and it really doesn't say much in here about if that was a uh, good move or not. It just says that uh, um, let me see, I gotta make sure I have this uh, done right. It says that the H file is open for um, white and white's gonna start playing on the H file because of all the attack that's coming. So there is a um, there's a continuation, which is the uh, uh, e takes 
I mean, e e4 push, and then uh, the bishop moves to c4, pawn f, and then takes, takes, and white has done something that's really important, undoubled their pawns, and as well, uh, preparing to go for a kingside attack, white's safe and black's not. So that's kind of the uh, thing that's at hand going on right now. So retreats back. We can't play here because that that'd be a, a really bad move because if we played there he can grab the pawn there and we don't really want that to come to pass. Or maybe even knight takes. So we have to keep our bishop there so that we have enough uh, defenders of the pawn. We want to keep a uh, hold on the center. Bishop to c8, g4. Now we're protecting the knight, so, and we're getting closer to removing the c pawn from the board, which will help us with a mega. Oops, with a mega onslaught. So b b7, and then g5. Exclaim! We we got it. We got our moving. Yes, g5 is what we wanted to play. We wanted to tear the center open. So knight takes takes. And now we go f4. Because why not Why not just bring his friend to the fight? You know what I mean? Kick this, kick this rook out. He has to go all the way back. And then bring the queen over to g, g2. Now we can take and threaten checkmate. So a8, uh, a bishop c. Which is really interesting. I, was, I always wondered why they didn't just, you know, take here. Our pawn takes. But um, this is actually a more, if you want to think about it, this is setting up for more of an attack. Because now you got a, a bishop. So that when this does take, there's more threat. So you just keep that in mind. Build the, build the tension. Build it. Don't relieve it. G6, exclam. I uh, love that move. That was like right in the heart. And then bringing all the forces over. And then G takes. And at this point, um, there's really no way to stop mate. Because if queen, if queen takes here, you have queen takes pawn. You have queen takes because otherwise it's mate there, and it's mate. So we that's out of uh, out of the cards. So if he moves there, we can actually play here. Queen takes. Actually, let's let's redo that. Okay, so there, there. Well, okay, we'll just we'll say not queen takes because that's a little too hasty of a move sequence. So if we take, let's see, rook takes, takes. Takes comes over. Maybe I'm even a little too hasty there. Maybe the maybe the plane just taking here is what wins. I think that's we'll just we'll just keep with, you know, tradition, just play there. Grab that. And let's see here. Oh, we'll, we'll just grab a pawn. I might might be missing something, so I'm gonna I'm kind of gonna let the computer just take a look to see where I'm uh, if I'm missing something, because I I want to make sure. Okay, so taking. The rook comes over and grabs that. Okay. 
So we take, so we're on the right track. Queen takes. Ooh, knight takes. Okay, not, okay. And then the rook comes. Okay, there's the, there's the attack. And then check. Okay. And we'll kind of leave it with that, because that's actually a pretty good line. Okay, Doki. There's this line as well. As if not H, but takes here. Uh, queen to H2 is played, so taking would be a uh, really bad idea for black to actually take here. Because there's really no way to stop checkmate from happening. It's game over. And let's go to move here on uh, E takes D. There's one more line. If knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes, and then you take here, exclaim. Because what you're thinking, wait, is that possible? Yeah. And then you check because you're bishop and queen, and you undiscovered attack on the bishop, and you've actually picked up a pawn. So you're up a whole extra pawn. So it takes and uh, d6, d3, and if you notice that white's maneuvering, he wants to qu castle queenside. That's his whole goal is queenside castle. And when black castles, we want to play uh, bishop to a6 and get rid of uh, the active bishop. e5 exclaim e4. This this right. Oops, sorry. E4 and there's E uh, there's E7, which is actually an Ennis glam for Black. If he had taken here, Knight takes, and this gives White a slight advantage, very slight. But this uh, keeps all the tension and all the attack in the air. It also allows for castling to happen. So Black White castles, Black castles, and then A6. This is a very important move. We're we're removing we're removing the defender of uh, the king on this side here on the queen side, which will make uh, a seven very uh, vulnerable. So we take take, and now we're we're starting the pressure on the queen side because we both castle queen side. A that's a move, but they're saying that the best move is actually c six. At this moment, try your hardest to break it open. You have to, you have to kind of. Now this is equal, an equal position for black and white. It's up to whoever is going to play to win at this point. But but when but rather when he moves his knight, it allows for the pieces to start flowing over to the queen side, and it's harder for black to get an attack because there's not a lot of piece flow. Do you see how white's pieces are just gently flowing into the into the queen side? Black's having to forcibly play those moves by like rook c8 and then c5. So now see there's another move. We're now going to threaten uh, a6. So he plays there. Now he moves his knight. We take with check. Queen takes. Knight G, now we're going for a pawn and a potential attack there. The queen retreats back. This is still vulnerable. So the knight comes in. If we can win this knight, we're going to start getting some. There we go. Now we're starting to remove the pieces. And it's smack, smack. And then D3. Now we have uh, C3 that's playable potentially even a3 and this pawn's weak everything is weak for um, black h6 and then h4 which they're saying bishop to f6 is best because you have a double attack on the so the knight's gonna have to move b4 to stop uh, rook c3 f3 now this cements the pawn which gives white still has flow now there's still flow in the position 
and now this is a very this is an equal it's almost almost equal so close to equal but the problem is the safety of black's king pushes it slightly to white's side but this uh, this move here is not the best because you allow a knight to come f flooding over as well it's like you don't want to do that now the rooks attacking this pawns protected twice and now rooks coming in and then the queen comes to d3 with the uh, uh, potential of playing rook b and then maybe even winning a pawn now the knights now all we need is one piece defending we're gonna have the knight flowing in now d5 and the under fire it takes they're saying again here this is actually best it takes it takes and B and then this is equal S slightly remember safety of black's king pushes it always over to white because of how unsafe black's king is they're saying though that if you had taken here takes here here and now what white has accomplished is a seventh rank rook and these pawns are going to start to uh, dissolve off the off the board with our pac-man just gobbling up the pieces the little pawns so taking was actually an error because knight takes pawn takes takes and then d2 there's also if G takes it doesn't help at all either because now we're bringing our rook to attack so it takes there and King takes f5 and then we win a pawn f3 I mean f4 we take he takes and then we play f6 with a double threat and if he plays rook g8 we don't really we don't mind if he takes here because we are actually up a whole pawn now, a protected one. We have a rook on the seventh. Our king is more active. So in theory, we should win this. But he checked instead. We went king f1, and then he, he attacked. And then we play king, rook c6. This is again attacking these two points. So g5. Don't get hasty and try to grab uh, for h h6 you don't want you don't want to have that happen so just play f6 keep the tension so f4 we takes takes we grab and then we go g we play g3 in this now we're up a let's see we have five versus five this, this is still under fire that's under fire potentially rook to f6 will make the h6 pawn under fire so he's protecting there we bring the rook up to attack h and now that the rook's all the way over to h7 now we come up and grab the pawn so we're up one whole pawn our rook's more active our king's more active and we should go on to win so now we're getting our pieces uh, and this our, our whole goal for the king is to get to a5 so we can win this pawn. You got to be very careful though. After takes, takes. Don't get greedy and take here. Whatever you do, that'd be a horrible. Uh, that'd be a very horrible mistake here. I think. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, you'd lose. So, don't don't get greedy and grab that pawn. Whatever you do, don't get greedy. You just grab a pawn there with check. Check. We And at this point, b4 uh, was played, and this actually wins for, uh, for white. Because whatever black does, you, you always have a, a rook that could potentially, uh, we can actually grab. If he if he grabs here, I know you're thinking. What if he grabs there? What if he grabs here? What you do is you first you check. If the king was here, you check. The king was there. 
I need to just grab the rook. And if he grabs there, you can actually play um, king takes. When he comes up here, you just do a check, and he has to flee. And you can always play there. When he flees, just grab that. And if he tries, he can't really do anything to attack here, so it's all over. That's why. That's why on B4, uh, Black decided to cash in his the cards and uh, move on to the next uh, game. And so we're gonna go over my pet my game before. Actually, let's do some puzzles real quick. One sec, we'll do uh, like one puzzle. Okay, so let's see here. Hmm. I think I, I think he uh, streams on uh, I uh, Allied Chess dot org. So we'll look at it from Andrew's side. We'll just do it from Le uh, Leila's side. That that'll be fine. F four, Bishop F four, E six, E three. Uh, C3 had a bug buzz me. They're, they're very irritating. A6 uh, Knight F3 so hmm Interesting. Usually they usually you would uh Draw it back here. And then you have a potential uh, B. Knight BD2. And you might actually get some maybe expansion. If, if white takes, queen takes, and you have a potential bind, so if white castle, black would castle, and I think, in my opinion, I think white would, black would be just okay here. I like this position better for black. I mean white, sorry. Okay. We'll do it from Andrew. Let's do it. But it does make sense um, for this move here, but I think it's a little too soon. Uh, the majority of the grandmasters actually just move back their uh, bishop, and so if the bishop ever takes here, 
there's an open file. That's usually what's played. It takes. But this also is playable too. Oh, Lila's black. Okay. Yeah, then uh, this is an interesting line then. This actually is a line of the, of the London system. It's a very positional line, though. You, if you want, if you like positional play, this is where you would want to do. This is more of like a car pop. Um, oh, uh, not Kasparov, but Kromnik, and uh, there's a couple other ones. Oh, Topolov would play probably like this. And just move a knight. If you're going for more of a positional game, this is right down the path of the player. Because what you're what you're saying is that your uh, bunch your bunch of pawns together will be able to pound through the teeth of the wall or of through this wall here. You'll use this pawn as a battering ram to just jam it down the throat of black on f5 at the right moment and when and that'll uh, provoke weaknesses in the center it's kind of what the idea is your f uh, f pawn extra f pawn is like a like a punch you, at the right moment you're gonna punch open the king side they don't call it that they say that it's a lever open opening so so, uh, knight bd7, and then castles. So, he's smart to castle on the king side. This is where the majority of his pieces are. Okay, knight c5. So, he's trying to get the bishops off. You don't want to do that. You want to keep this bishop on the board. It's very important for your your thrust in the center. Or, yeah, I'm sorry, on the king side, sorry. I mean... Okay, rook e, rook f e one, and then Leela casts. Okay, f three is a very uh, po uh, good playable move here as well. Oh, we played f three, bishop f three. Gotta love that. Okay, so nine f three. Okay, the idea is to. Uh, Leela's trying to punch uh, right back at him with e5. Trying to, he Leela knows that f5 is a threat, and the engine wants to be able to at that moment play e5. So if this pawn ever pushes, the engine wants to play uh, e5 because then it's protected by the the rook. Otherwise. Uh, f5 would be very powerful here if the rook was still on f8 because when he, then when he pushed it would be lost and then if he left it there um, Andrew would most definitely uh, trade that off and then say ah I have a I, you have an open file my king's more safe I can play on the di the light square diagonals something similar to that so rook e3, h6. This is kind of trying to stunt a white's advance. This I don't really like h6 in my opinion. I I don't I don't think that it's uh, probably the engine has some sort of you know lengthy line you know 20 moves or 30 moves down the road, but um, I I think that it's best to keep the pawns in symmetrical and maybe try to I guess the pieces are perfect I don't know what what to say I guess this kind of is a just a move to pass it back to Andrew and because the machine should know that he's just gonna double up and then at the right moment pound with f5 so Hmm. 
Hold on, let me. I want to check to see why. Why didn't he just push f5? Let's see, f5. And so white has an attack. Okay. I think that's too uh, passive, but. It, it get what it does though it does keep the queen safe so we got to say one thing um, the engine Leela now has to be has to be cautious of h7 isn't a uh, square to go to now the queen covers that so it's not like that that the machine made a spot for the king to go to so but now the knight that now this knight's trying to get some counterplay and so he jams a uh, pawn a knight there, and now we we're gonna get our our uh, army of marching down the road. Let's come on, guys! Come on! Exactly. There we go. Now we're starting to get the forces into the fight. But I'm thinking that's still a little too passive. I I like that. I like uh, go go all in. Come on, bring it. That's what I like. And if he plays up, bring that. Bring it on. Bring it on down. And if here, then bang. Come on, bring it down. And then it, and then if he takes, crunch. Bring bring in the bring in the heat. And then let's see if. If Leo grabs a pawn, king over. And if tries to defend, rook over. I like that. G4. Oh, I see what you're saying. Grabbing here. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I guess that doesn't work then. Well, this this makes sense to clog up the position, and so now we're getting ready for a, a push onslaught. Let's see, bishop takes, knight takes. I like g5 there. And now we play that. Oops. What happened there? Uh oh. Sorry about that guys. I like I like this move here. And then when it takes Um, let me see here. I get I guess it's a little too too maybe too aggressive, but still I just I like that type of a of a, a thrust. Maybe maybe it's just too maybe I'm just a little too aggressive there. Oh, he's playing really passive. We don't want passivity. We gotta have we gotta have activity. Now white uh, blacks regrouping. This is not good for us. Okay, white has a chance. White's re right regaining uh, his play. G4. 
should have taken here then if bishop takes maybe that's playable it's you know what it's very hard yeah And white set up for a, I mean black set up for a really nice tactic there. I want to see where uh, where he went wrong. Yeah, so we were right on uh, taking there. Okay, we were right then. Sweet, okay. Nice. Do you have any other games you'd like to go over? We could go over. I have a I have a game that I played along uh, just yesterday. Okay, we'll do that one then. What's going on here? Okay, perfect. Alrighty. Let's go back then. Okay. Wow, that was odd. Okay. Doki, let's turn off the engine. So C4, C5, C3. That's a little different of a move. Why is it that I can move? There's 
not the standard. Hmm. That's kind of different. Hmm. I didn't know that was that was playable. He takes there, so then a knight comes in. Okay, so black's still better in that line. All right, just wanted to make sure. Kind of different French defense than I'm used to. <laughs> I like that. I, I know it sounds funny, but I like that move. I just don't understand why he didn't play. Let's see. What um, what am I missing here? Okay. Takes there. If we grab that. Oh, the bishop guards that. Duh. Okay. Okay. That's uh, uh, my bad there. A5. Moves the queen. Gotcha. And A4. That's actually a really strong move in the French. If you can break up this side here, your bishops start flowing. And the light square bishop, if it can get into play uh, for black, is it means that black's doing something right. So bishop D2. A takes, takes. And then queen to C. Kind of... White's wanting to, black's wanting to not castle too soon. Otherwise, what'll happen is this storm of attack it would be, you know, raging on him. H5. There we go. Surprised that I'm surprised that actually was played. I'm trying to get, uh, they're trying to get some sort of pressure along here. Maybe I clog this up a little bit. So that uh, bishop to uh, this actually wins a, potentially wins a piece here. So if we can come here, I'm sorry, if we can come here and then bishop c2, we, we pick up a, uh, the rook. So the, <laughs> trust me, Leela's not going to fall for that. But Andrew gets his pawn back. Now, ah, uh, you gotta, this, this is what, what a French player loves to have. This right here, a bishop like that, that's sweet. That's, that's a sweet piece, sweet bishop. He accomplished the ultimate, uh, one of the hardest things in the French. For the light squared bishop to get outside the pawn train, outside the pawn chain and attack. Thumbs up to Andrew for that one. I'm wondering if that doesn't have any teeth.
Ah. He lost so close. Let's see. You know, what are we missing here? Do you ever have an advantage? I really don't see any of I'm trying to find where hmm here's his advantage. No. Nope. Well oh, the computer had oh it was the no nope, it's still better for the computer here. Did he ever have an advantage though? Hmm. Boy, it's so hard to find the proper move here. It's almost like you'd have to retreat your bishop all the way back here. So that if that's played, you can just play there. That's a hard position to fight uh, back to. Yeah. Let's go over. This was a game that I played uh, last night on Allied Ch Chess with you guys, and we'll analyze it. Let's see. Hold on. You're saying the threat is uh, Queen F5. Oh, I got you, queen. I see what you're saying here, queen. Oh, f4. Oh, I got you, f4. And oh, okay, gotcha. Okay. Here and there. So e6. Yeah. F5. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, I was like, ugh. So, bishop e2. Knight f5. And bishop he takes, takes, and then 
He's developing, I'm developing. And my idea is to get these pawns going and then play uh, a knight f3. Oh, in my game, I play uh, c4. Oh, wait a second, I play knight b to d2 first and then uh, c4. I play knight bd2 and then I play c4. And I'm, what I'm doing is I'm gaining space all over the board. And that, that was my whole entire uh, idea was just spatial uh, stranglehold. And now I have this pass pawn, really important. Check, I check first. I grab. And then I, I now have two open files for my, actually, there's uh, three, but one, uh, two full opens and one half open. At this point, I want to see what I should play. Yeah, because I, I lose my advantage by playing that. So, king, king up. Now if he plays here. bring my king in, okay. If he takes there, I take there. How can I grab that pawn? Yeah, exactly. That that kind of neutralizes all my ideas there, wasn't? So I just took there. I thought I gotta get some material. Takes there. And this is the end game. I really enjoyed this end game here. I attacked his knight, I mean his rook, and then I grabbed the, his pawn. And now I'm going to try to trade off. I come in, retreat, and now I, now I start walking the pawns down the board. And what you have to do is be really careful. You don't want to push right now because potentially this, let's see, I think this would be, I'd lose my advantage if I push there. I guess I'd still be okay. My concern was if I, if I pushed though, not uh, this here would happen. Well, I guess I guess I could just push onward, then, couldn't I? Wait a second, that'd be silly. I could have just pushed onward, huh? I don't know why I was fearful of that. There's no way to stop queening at that point. Ah, drat, I missed that. Play it there.
Boy, this is winning. I should. I gotta remember to play that. Okay, I missed a win there. And he resigned at this point here because there's no real way he can stop mate from happening. He's gonna have to play there. You could actually play here and wait takes. You get two pawn mate. Then that's a really uh, powerful uh, game. But two spots. I should have uh, when I, when I played there. I should push there because. If he comes in front, I just move my king up, and if he then he'll if he tries like something like that, I just push mate. And it's still a mate. And then not don't be afraid of don't be afraid of f6 in this in this line. Don't be afraid of f6 because if he plays here, you just push onward. And even if he takes, oops, not that. Uh, no, we're not going to do that. Boom, there. If he checks, we just move back. If he checks again. And you just queen. And you you get a piece. And you just, you just get your rook out of there. Because you don't want any problems. I, I like the engine on that. I like it going woo all the way back. That is uh, that is nice. It won a piece, and the engine doesn't want to lose it. Gotta commend it, the engine on that. So that's and it, that's kind of the two spots that I was wondering about. Okay. We'll go. We'll do some uh, puzzles now. Trying to see if we can't play knight to g6. Then king could come up. Or sorry, knight g6. Then king comes up. We just take the but if we do that then he has potential for a win hmm <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. You know what? It's a uh, gift the Lord's given me, and I want to use it for Him. So, can't take the credit. Okay, so let's see. I'm wondering, do we actually do we play this move here? I'm gonna try to put a line and see what you guys think. King takes d3, and I'm kind of puzzled 
what what to play for black. I don't know what to play for black. Uh, king King D3, and I don't know what to play for black. After here, I'm like, I'm just trying to figure out. And I don't know if there's anything that wins. Also, he pushes the pawn. Huh. Is it like a knight move? Am I, are we missing like knight to e6? Something like that. Okay, then uh, knight h6. And if he, uh, I'm wondering if he comes up here. Oops, not that move. Kind of like that up there. And there we go. Okay, so, okay, we have that there. So we checked. Okay, King G3. So knight takes g. Um, uh, this is an interesting move. Nice, we push our pawn. Ah, no problem. 
Yeah, that's that was an interesting uh, puzzle for sure. I would win a piece, I think. Okay, so let's see here. So knight takes here, bishop takes, and pawn push. Yeah, I think we do. There we go. See, so we're in a, a pad kind of setup, so. Bishop takes, king takes, knight f5. Yeah, that, that would lead to a fork. I guess we do win something in that line, don't we? Yeah. I believe that uh, that's winning then. Whoa. So is it bishop? I'm thinking it's bishop takes, because that, that takes scope on this pawn here. Yeah, because that, that also stops that. Yeah.
trying to see if potentially uh, G5 isn't something. Or maybe I take, take, and then I, then we take. I think we'd have to be a whole piece. I think it's takes here. But then if king takes, We have a pen here, so. Let's see, takes. King takes. G5. If bishop takes, uh, if bishop takes, we take here. He takes. Uh, hmm. Yeah, there's this pin. I'm trying to figure out to see if we can't play something like bishop d2. Nice find there. <laughs> we, we almost had the right idea. We had, but we got it that time. We worked through it. What I mean is, we worked through it. Uh, the knight takes uh, d7 wasn't uh, the idea. It was that other one that was. Great job, guys. This is good. This is getting good.
thinking if we take here That's what I'm kind of thinking. I think we'd be up, let's see. <clears throat> okay. He'd have that. 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 Let's see, this is, so he would be taking these two pieces. We'd have that. Actually, let's do ours. We'll do, we'll do ours this way. Here, here, there. And he would have here, there. And you have to take first. I just want to make sure the line actually works. Okay. Then we got here. The king moves. Sorry, king moves. Then we take. After well, he actually the king. Sorry, <laughs> that's funny. He doesn't have to move. The knight will take. And then we take there, and we should. Are we down? Are we down material on that line though? I don't know if if we actually uh, acquire the material count we want from that. Hmm. Oh, we got a fork. What am I thinking? That's silly of me. Yeah, I just take. And then if he just, let's say he moves his rook, we have, we have a sweet little fork. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure that line actually worked out. It did. Oh, let's let's check out why the night check. We got to check the night check out. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on.
Well, that makes sense now why we have to grab grab this bit. Actually, sorry, take here first. And then after knight takes, grab the bishop because no longer is there a threat on g2 anymore. That bishop's gone. His bishop was, let me see. Let's check. Okay, knight takes d, rook takes g. Oops, knight, knight f7. G. Oh, bishop takes. Okay. All right. Let's take a look to see if that. Okay. It takes there. It takes there. Okay. It takes. F. Okay. And if you and then if, then he'll just play there and bishop takes and then takes and he's got doubled. I don't know if we're good in that line or not. No, you're fine. Everything's fine. You had to remove that one bishop. It's the only way to... Otherwise, you'd have that bishop pin, and that would be a pain in the drain. I think I could do one or two more games, so I'll see. I mean, not games, um, puzzles. I know I can at least do this one, so let's let's get let's get to this and do a good job. We'll do a good job. Hmm. Thinking about playing rook to c5. And then if rook takes c5, bishop takes c5, if rook slides over, what I'm going to do is bring my, uh, potentially my knight up here. And if the king tries to get involved, I mean, if the king tries to get involved, I'll just slip my, my bishop back to, uh, my bishop back here to guard my rook. What do you think? Rook C5. Hmm. High economy. So Bishop. So bishop f, and then, okay, so bishop c5, rook f, uh, c8, So that's the thing I'm just concerned about. Let's say he plays that. We pick off the knight, but he still has his pin. Hmm. Huh. 
yeah. Okay, let's see here. Let me take a look here. I don't know, so I guess I, I don't, yeah. So we're talking about, so here, here, there, 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 I don't know. I like. I I don't know why, but I just like Rook C5. I think it's. I know it's plain simple, but I think it deals with everything. I just. I just don't know. I just don't know. Cause he could just grab, come back and grab that, and then we grab, then he grabs, and we we're still equal. Huh. Well, maybe it does. Maybe I am missing that then. Drat, I, I guess I missed that too. Hmm. No, we can't. We can't actually take he... Well, yeah. Yeah, we could. Yeah, we could. Yeah, if, if he plays that there... You could actually just grab that, like what you're saying, and we win. This move looks tempting. Come on. This move looks tempting, but the problem is like what you're saying, uh, Fox, is that if we uh, if we move our rook, he'll grab that. We'll grab that. He'll grab that, and. Then he just he can just do a quick check, move up, and then we're down material. So, with one more, and then I gotta log off. Come on, we got this. We got this. But that was a good good try, guys. I gotta say, you know what? That was that was uh, that did look tempting. But you have to always remember that sometimes the most tempting thing isn't uh, the best thing. Let's see here. Sometimes plain is the best. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, okay. Uh, what uh, what are we missing here?
Yeah, I'm like a rook a4. Thinking rook uh, d1. If uh, queen e2, then we have bishop to f1, and we trap the bishop. I believe. I believe it's. I believe we go rook f1, bishop e2, and then we trap the bishop with bishop to f1. Am I right, guys? Wait a second, that's wrong. He could grab, oh, that's that's not right. Bad, me bad. No, 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 we, no, we don't like that. Because he could actually come here, I am that, yay, yay. And if we try that, he could just grab there, ouch. No, that doesn't work. So, maybe we just grab the rook here. Yeah, I think I think we uh just do we just play uh, uh, knight takes uh, b6? Is it knight takes b6? Knight takes b6. If pawn takes, king takes, and we should be holding here. Well, if queen to if uh, if we take here, and he we he takes there, we take there, and he takes here, we slide over. Knight takes, and we should be okay. We should win. So I'm thinking. Uh, Knight takes B six. Uh, F takes uh, G two. Oops. Two. King uh, takes uh, G two. Eh. Uh, yeah. Oh. Wow. I'm 
happens if we take? Do you guys have any other lines you want to look at before I log off? On after this and uh, that, do you have any other lines? You guys have any uh, other ideas? All right. Okay, dokie. Let's do it. Do it. Well, guys, remember. You know what? We're still 2,500. So you know what? It will shake it off. Learn from it. Keep moving forward. Remember, your your worth is not. In the points that you get from that are the wins on the board. It is in what you guys know. See, that's the whole thing. We have to remember our worth is not in our rating, not in our wins, not in our losses. It's it's in that we what we do for the Lord. But yeah, that too. And you have to remember that it comes. Like my teacher taught me, your rating will come. But don't, he said to me, don't make it your worth. Don't make it what you, it's about. You're not about the rating. You're about improving. That's what he told me. And so I took that to heart. And when I found the poster that uh, read from Bruce Lee, knowing is not enough, we must supply. Willing is not enough, we must do. That also reminded me of uh, that as well. And you know what? Like the story of the man, the project that couldn't be done. Well, you know what? We're we're the we're the guys that come in, hang up our hat, hang up our coat, and roll up our sleeves. And the things that they said we can't do can be done because we work together as a team. We gotta remember that. There is no I in team. Remember, Hannibal Smith said that there's always, always a plan in the position. You just have to find it, be patient, don't force it, and and you'll get it. You know what? So just remember, and a plan is only good, he said, when you make your opponent do what you want them to do, and you already know what they're going to do, and you predict it and have a plan set right for it. That's That's the ultimate. So just keep that in mind, like when you when you start reacting to your opponent's threats, that you don't just you don't react. You have your plan and you go for your plan. Okay, and I'll uh, leave you guys with this, as Wesley so says, through the Lord Jesus, and as I say, God bless. And I'll see you next time on Chess Cruncher TV. Have a blessed morning, afternoon, and evening, guys, and I'll be on tomorrow, Lord willing, and we'll go over some more studies, games, and. You know, just have puzzles and have fun. You know what? And our rating will come. Okay? So be blessed, guys, and I'll, I'll see you then. Keep studying chess. Go Team Chess Cruncher. Bye-bye.